How's it going, YouTube? So, today I'm going to show you how I like to use fiddler crabs when I fish. To start out, I got this uh, 3000 series uh, reel and a star rod that's pretty light. You're going to want something pretty lightweight because these fiddler crabs are tiny and you want to be able to feel any action that they get. And what I'm using here, because I'm in some really thick mangroves, I have some 30 pound fluorocarbon. I like to do about two and a half feet, and that's going on to some 15 pound braid. This one's a little bit longer. I've uh, broken off a couple of times today. And then for the fiddlers, I either use a one or a two aught circle hook. Uh, I lost all of my two aughts, so I moved back down to one aught. I like to use my pliers to pick them up. And what I like to do sometimes, if I can't get them with a couple of tries, I use my pliers to break the pincher so that they can't cut my line or pinch me while I'm putting them on. And then I go right on the bottom the circle hook. You can put it in just, just like that and then through and now you got your fiddler crab on and these things stay on pretty good compared to like shrimp or frozen shrimp. And then I got a light little split shot on and what I do is cast out and let it sit and watch for the line to start moving like there's a fish around. I felt like a fish, but I think it was a uh, branch. Now that I got the fiddler crab on the hook, let's show you how to catch fish with them. What I try to do is throw them next to some mangroves or a branch or anything that they might naturally fall off of. Okay, so that could have been a freak sheep's head. But I'm not skunked, so... So now that we're all casted out, we got the fiddler crab in the water. Now we just really gotta let it sit there. I like to do 10 to 15 seconds bump the rod twice to bring it up in the water column and let it fall back down. Feels like a snook. Ah, black drum. Oh. No skunking today. Oh yeah, so it's still young where you can see all of the colors on it. it goes. So here I'm casting out into the middle a little more than right on the edge at those mangroves. The reason for doing this is because when I was paddling in I noticed it got pretty deep right there and I saw a couple tree branches sticking up and the fish just love to hang out around those because they attract bait fish and then sometimes they'll attract crab barnacles and the water just stays cooler down there. So the fish like to hang out down in that cooler water that has more bait fish compared to other areas in the middle where you see it's like shallow and sandy. They don't really hang out there. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, it's a sheep's head that just ran really fast. It's not really that nice of a fish.
probably 12, 12 ish inches. This area there was an opening in between these two mangroves, so I tried to cast as far back as I can. It'll stay cooler in that shade and fish hang out there. The other thing is to watch your cast and be ready to grab the line if it starts going into a tree. Nice. Oh, Mike. Ah, oh, it's a nice one. Almost got it there. Ah. Oh. Jerk it really hard to the side. Oh, this one's got some. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's a big black drum, guy. Yeah. Not big, big in today's days. Nice. Finally, buddy. Look at that. I netted it for you right away. They'll hold it over the kayak. Hmm? Don't you don't you dare lose it. I'm gonna try to get out there really quick too. Yeah, cast right back out. Oh, is that a fish or a stick? Oh, that was a big That's a monster. Yeah. They're lit right now. What's going on? Why is this not fing casting? Get closer, because it looks hold it way out there.